Okay, I'm tired. I'm really tired of Nigerian government promising to investigate perpetrators each time they kill people in the north. Seriously, how many people have to die before you know they complete their investigations and actually do something? Sorry y'all, it's your girl Adeola. But seriously, this doesn't happen in other countries. You know how many people have died since Boko Haram surfaced? No, this is not a joking matter. How can we say we are a democratic country and people are being killed every day like animals? Come on! More than 100 people were killed last weekend in play too. 50 bodies were found in a pastor's home that was burnt down with him and his family. You know, Joss used to be so peaceful and beautiful. But as usual, what did the president say? We are carrying out investigation. I say, hey, for how long will you carry out your investigation? I think that they already have a template of what to say each time this happens. They just change the date. The template basically says we are carrying out investigation. 103 citizens died overnight. And that's it, you are carrying out investigations in a more civilized society. Let me tell you, if 100 citizens are killed overnight, somebody would have been arrested by now. But uh uh uh, that doesn't happen in Nigeria. Remember what our president said when there was bomb explosions in Kaduna? But while we are here, there were explosions in Kaduna. <laughs> so I don't even know the casualties right now, what is happening. I've been quite sad. So I didn't even want to say something. But when the uh, chaplain, when he preach order you, you must say something. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> is it just me? Or does somebody else have issues with the way he responds whenever there is a tragedy? Remember the Christmas Day bombings. On Christmas Day, when a lot of people lost their lives, including children. Remember, he said terrorism is a burden we have to live with. There's no reason for this kind of dastardly act on the Christmas Day. It's one of the burdens as a nation we have to carry. You know, the following month, there was another bomb explosion in Kano. And guess what he said? We will get over it. We know that we'll get over it. We'll continue to fight. The security services will not rest until we clean up the, the country. Yes, 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 he's a good man with good intentions. Nobody is arguing with that, you know? The only thing is we want to see something tangible. We want to be able to say this is what he has done. Eh? For example, it would be nice if we see something from all the investigations that they've been carrying out. Oh, by the way, you can now reach the Inspector General on his personal cell phone. <laughs> Seriously, he published his cell phone number so that people can reach him directly when they are in danger. Yes, ah, for real, the 160 million people in Nigeria, each time they are in danger and they are running, it will be like 080. <laughs> but so guys, you are for you. Are you for you? You want 160 million people to be calling your private cell phone number when they are in trouble? Whatever happened to setting up an emergency number, you know, like 911 or something? A number that will actually be reachable, <laughs> that people can call when they are in danger because in case you have not noticed, you can only answer one call at a time. Oh, by the way, yeah, I tried the number several times after he published. He didn't pick up. Yeah, he didn't pick up. The user is busy on the other call. Please try after some time. The user is busy on the other call. Please try after some time. So tell me, what will you do if you're given just few days to lose four inches round your waist? Or lose your job well that's exactly what happened in pakistan where 250 overweight and big bellied policemen and women were fired that is a nigerian policeman now why are you looking for trouble that one is also nigerian change the picture ah change it you want the whole world to know we also have big bellied policemen mind yourself oh. ah which kind of nonsense be that you better be sorry so like I was saying, 250 policemen and women in Pakistan were fired because they were not able to reduce their waistline to 38 inches or lose 4 inches in the days that they were given. But you know, some of them were able to do it and they kept their jobs. The 250 that were fired are the ones that were not able to do it and the plan is to replace them with policemen that are more fitted. I was like, ah, this is very impressive. And I started thinking about what they might have done, you know, to lose the weight so fast. I was like... Ugh. Use those abs. Come on, stand up. Hoop. Hoop. Two. 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 You're going to alternate squeezing and releasing your glutes. You right. keep saying you've got something for me. 
me. No, 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 I don't think they would do that. That's like girl exercise. These are men. These are real men. Now, this is the exercise that real men do. <laughs> Speaking of men, you know how some men have problem when they are driving? Hmm. They just can't see a beautiful lady walking by the street. Oh, you know, they just have to look. Hey, I don't know what their problem is. They have to look. Especially if she's well endowed. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they just can't help themselves. They have to look. Hey. So this man in UK, he looked until he got in trouble. <laughs> because he got fined by the police. So Doug McLean was driving when he saw this, you know. Yes, I know. Yeah. Hmm, yes. That is not the real one, but it looks like this. So instead of turning at the intersection, he just sat there looking at this woman as she was walking by. And he didn't know that there's a police car passed nearby watching him, taking pictures of him sitting at the intersection looking at this woman. So they came over and they fined him <laughs> for staring at the woman. You know what he said? His explanation was that, ah, this woman has nice ass set nice asset and and i was just trying to see if the face is also as good looking as the back but the policeman did not buy it they fined him 90 dollars meanwhile one of the policemen was like yeah she is hot because you know i was checking her out too so when he heard that dog mclean was like why don't you find the policeman that was also staring at her but the other policeman was like well my colleague was not driving when he stared at her but you you were driving so you were distracted he was not distracted because he was not driving so my question is what would he have done if the woman was as endowed as this woman I am just giving a real baby so my friend told me about a man that was getting cleansed from bad luck hmm. I said, ah, a lot of people need that too in this day and age. <laughs> but when I looked at the video, I realized that the man that was getting cleansed was standing between two bad looks. <laughs> if you don't believe me, take a look. <laughs> Before I leave today, I want you guys to meet the Nigerian basketball team who just qualified for the Olympics 2012! Yeah! Yeah, probably the toughest schedule out of everybody in this tournament. Uh, we played the home crowd, Venezuela. We beat Lithuania. We beat Greece. We lost to Russia by like seven or eight points. Nothing that the American public would have done would have stopped us tonight. We were on a mission. He came in, plays great defense. Olympian. Hey, we're Olympians, man. Them African boys, huh? How about it? Did you ever dream you'd be an Olympian? Not, uh, I dreamt it, but it was it was a far-fetched dream when I was younger, man. I was just dreaming as a young kid, man. I never thought it'd become true. But I, I give the glory to God, man. Up Niger! Yes, yes, I'm so proud to be a Nigerian. Ah, I'm so proud. <laughs> yeah, we are good though, Nigerians. We do good things. Ah, we are very talented. Ah, Nigerians, we are good. I'm not boasting. Why are you jealous now, you know? <laughs> anyway, it's been real, and I'm keeping it real right up in here. Until next week, I'm going to see y'all later. Peace out.